embarrassed. I feel like I have not vlogged in a very long time. I still look at it myself. But okay, yeah, so I haven't vlogged myself in a very long time. I keep looking at myself, it's fine. Happy Vlogmas Day 2. This Vlogmas thing is getting pretty hard and it's only the second day. So today I'm gonna be making um one of my favorite cookies ever. It's the thumbprint cookie, which is like little jam on the inside. I also like do not have that much jam. So, oh, I hate how I talk on vlogs. So yeah, I just like wanted to do like a little bacon chat or whatever and talk about some interesting stuff, some thoughts that have been on my mind. But I need to find a recipe and see if I actually have all the ingredients to make these cookies. So let's do that. Okay. I have these peach preserves. Oh, my hands look so dry. And these raspberry preserves that are barely there anymore. They're both edible. So now let's look up a recipe that I should use. The best thumbprint cookie recipe. Okay, 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 okay. I feel like I might need a lot of jam. Mm. These thumbprint cookies are easy to make and the taste is incredible. It's supposed to take about an hour and serve 24 cookies. Mama, what are you, brown sugar are you style? Brown sugar. Okay, let me put my hair up. This is not the most awesome look. What happens if I put you in? Genius. Okay, so... Uh, guys, I'm so embarrassed. So basically, I was thinking like, if I just like tell you guys what I'm doing and I just like tell you guys like the recipes and whatever, I thought that that would be a little bit like boring or whatever, I guess. That is kind of scary, so I'm gonna close that door. Okay, let me get started with baking and then I'll come back. So I'm really bad at baking. Having a little bit of trouble. I don't think anyone actually cares to see what I'm doing, but I'm separating. Okay, so I mixed like butter and sugar together, and now I need to take out the egg yolk and then add to the mixture. But, okay, hold on, I need to focus. So I thought it would be kind of fun to talk to you guys about this a, a situation, right? You know, take it as you will. So something that's been on my mind recently is there's these two guys in my life. One of them is this really good friend that I've grown up with, you know, known him for a really long time. Ever since we were little kids, we've been like buddy buddies, hang out all the time together, best friends, whatever. And this other guy, he pretty recently came into my life. He's like this new guy, but he's actually like someone that I knew from my childhood. Okay? But this man doesn't remember who I am. Like, no cap. He like literally, when we were younger, like gave me this like little present thing. And then he like left for like, I don't, I forget like where he left, but I remember, I like remember him so clearly and whatever. And he like, we met the other day or like last week-ish and he just like fully did not remember me. And I was like, oh. But I didn't like act like I knew him either. Um, but you know, I think eventually he was like, oh my gosh. I remember you and I was like, oh my gosh. But you know, during that time, you know, me and him are like, I don't know, there's like some weird tension or whatever. My childhood friend is like kind of getting jealous or something. It was getting pretty tense. But then, so my childhood friend ended up like confessing to me and he was like, I like you. But then I'm getting all these signals from this guy that I met like a long time ago and now I just like don't know what to do. But like good thing I don't need to know what to do because that's actually the premise of a drama I just finished watching. You know, in my head that played out a lot like better. I hope you can hear me by the way. But I was like, oh my gosh, like fake tea. Let me like tease these people and whatever. But it, it was pretty dumb after I said it out loud. My friend Maria told me to watch this drama. I, I know like K-dramas are cringe and whatever, but this drama was like on another level of cringe. 
like usually I'm I'm really good at like you know handling all this cringy stuff. You know I like I live for it. But this one just I don't know if it was like the couple or something, but something just was not sitting right with me. I also had a major second lead syndrome. And I don't know, once it like it was just like everything about the drama was I feel like just happened way too fast and then the guy's personality was like whack. Me personally, not a big fan. But in terms of my real life dating life, still non-existent. Oh, let me share my thoughts on dating apps because I've been on and off a few of them, i.e. Hinge and Bumble. I personally am not like a huge fan, but that's only because I think I'm having a very hard time figuring out who I find attractive, especially when I don't even know their personality beforehand, which I mean, no, that's the point of dating apps and like getting to know them through dates and whatever. But it's just like, it's hard for me to even want to meet this person without knowing this person, which I know is like counterintuitive. I think someone's personality for me is a huge part of what makes someone attractive. And having the lack of that in these dating apps makes it like incredibly difficult to be attractive. That felt repetitive. But that's okay. Honestly, lately I'm like, I'm like totally okay if I just like end up never dating anyone which I think is pretty surprising to say because Helene in the past would have been like No, I have to meet someone and whatever, but maybe it's a good thing, maybe this is like growth Oh freak I'm making a mess Okay I'm really doing super awesome Guys, I promise Why did I decide to do vlogmas and decide to do cooking or baking cookies on the second day and make life so hard for me? This is also probably super uninteresting for you guys because you guys can't even see what I'm doing. But I literally was like, it's because I feel like it'll be too blurry. But now it's just my face and I'm sure that is also really boring. And I don't know how many of you guys are actually getting this part of the video, so... You know what, maybe I just wanted a companion to talk to while I bake, which is extremely valid and totally okay for me to want that. So I'm gonna tell myself that that is why I turned on this camera and am talking to the camera while I try to make these cookies that I've been craving. Another thing that's on my mind is friendships. And I think it's been really interesting navigating friendships post-grad. I was talking to one of my friends about this, but I was like, I think the concept of friendship is really interesting because the like proximity of relationship, I think, that I feel among my friends is very on even ground right now. And I think I say that because I feel like I got really close with my college friends over the past four years. And I think like the depth of friendship that we reached in those four years was pretty, like crazy to think about. So I think like I'm very appreciative of those friends, but not all those friends are like way all over the country, like doing big things and living out on their own in like big cities like New York or like SF. I think it's been like, I mean, the nature of long distance anything. I think it just, there is like a sense of distance in those friendships, I think. Just cause like you're not, you went from like seeing them every single day to calling like once every few weeks or something like that. But I think it's interesting because with my high school friends, I feel like there was a lot more time that we spent, but I guess just cause like the stage of life that we were at when we became friends kind of, I don't wanna say like prohibited, but it didn't allow us to have the level of depth in friendship that maybe you find in college. But then now that we are older, I think it's still like a work in progress trying to get to the level of, of depth in friendship that 
you have with those people that you become friends with in college. But I think because like now like those high school friends are the ones that I spend more time in person with, it's like, you know, just like naturally they feel a bit closer than my college friends do. But it's like close in different ways, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys like these. <laughs> I, they're really ugly. I also don't know if the nose is supposed to be this, this this consistency, but Don't tell me if it's not because then I'll be really sad. The next step is I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the freezer I don't know if there's room, but I have to chill these for 30 minutes so, You know, I've always told myself that I'm a person that can do whatever she wants as long as she puts her mind to it, but cooking and Baking are just not my thing, I think, which makes me so sad because I feel like I want to be good at this, but I cannot. Okay, I'm just gonna put it outside because I think outside temperature and freezer temperature are the same. Alright, I oh, got him. I'll be back. I'll see you back in 30 minutes. <laughs> the cookies chilled well outside. They're like be hard. They look pretty crusty, but that is okay. It's gonna be like two raspberries. Oh, look at that one. That one's so pretty and cute. I think these cookies are a little bit thick, but that's fine. I hope the cookies are good with peaches. If this is bad, I'm gonna be so sad. I am quite possibly the worst baker to ever exist. Watch how fast I can do this. The final product. Guys, I'm so awesome at what I do. It's just like, it's, it's just so awesome. No. No. Now don't come at me for, I know they were too close together, but I just didn't math the math in my brain. And a little hexagon. They don't even look good, guys. They're like breaking. <laughs> so what's the lesson? Don't do things that you usually don't do because the majority of the time, doesn't work out the way you're expecting it. Okay, I'm gonna try one of the cookies on the edges that is like intact. The other ones, I don't know if they are not cooked all the way or if I need to let them cool. No, I don't think they're cooked, so maybe I'll throw it in the oven again, but let's try it. It's so hot. It is indeed a cookie. <laughs> so sad. Anyway. Slay. Happy Vlogmas Day too. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell.